Hey guys, John here, Jack there, and this is a quick rant video. Before I go into anything, no swearing in the comments. Uh, in, in your comments, I will erase them, even if you're like the most awesome person in the world. Um, and no, you are not Chuck Norris or whatever. Anyway, so this rant is about bad design, and I could make a million uh, bad design rant videos, but I'm going to stick to meetup.com and DeviantArt. Okay, that's what I'm going to rant about. Now, good design, when you're talking about something like a website, is about usability. Okay, when I use something, does it is it easy to use? Does it minimize the steps necessary to achieve something? Do I do I feel like if I'm spending money, do I feel like for the amount of money I'm paying, am I getting something I, I need or 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 want? Okay. So let's go let's let's start with Deviant Art. So I don't visit Deviant Art all that often. It's kind of nice. Their interface is kind of scattered, kind of confusing. Um but yeah, so if you don't frequent the site like myself, you might find it confusing. If if you know they've got a lot of awesome stuff on there, but here's the thing: I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to enable email notifications. So I eventually wandered the forums, and unlike a lot of people, I actually spent a moment or two trying to figure out where would my question best fit in here because I'm not obnoxious and not like, hey, I'm just going to post wherever I feel like. And I post my question, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to be, you know, polite. Hey, you know, I might have missed it. You know, even though I build websites, I could still goof. I could still miss things. Could you kindly point me to where the option is? And if it's not there, could you please implement it? Okay. So I'm trying to be adaptive. Okay. And the response is basically, we don't want to do that. Because then it would email everyone every single time. And I'm like... Okay, what part of option did you miss here? Okay, I'm not a I'm not a stickler for like you know like oh you 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 said uh, fuchsia but you know I didn't interpret that as pink. Okay, I don't you know unless it's like you know you're talking about the end of the world and something like that really does matter, you know. But option it means preference setting option like opt in opt out okay now i know this is really difficult for developers okay because developers only understand the computer and they don't understand the rest of existence and other human beings okay now i am a developer but i'm also the designer okay you can be both um but it's very rare that people are a designer as in a good designer okay and so when talking about the functionality, okay, here's here's here it is. If they don't want to enable it by default, then don't enable it by default. Say, hey, here's a new option, and if you want, you can opt into the option. Is that really that difficult? All right. I mean, if you look at the back end, it's a database. You can add zero or one. Zero being no, don't opt me in. One, yes, opt me into this. Okay, you add a new you know column to say user preferences. You say default value is zero. Not difficult. I mean, it takes like 30 seconds to add a database column. Boom, you've got the functionality right there. And all you got to do is add in the HTML and the P and a little bit of PHP code. You're good. It's good. It's good. So anyway, no, 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 no. It wouldn't make sense. For people who don't frequent the site to say, hey, get an email notification, you got a message. Not gonna open it? Could be important. I got the last two messages I got were important. Important. First one's from my wife telling me she was leaving. Second one's from my lawyer telling me he was leaving with my wife. First one, I guess the preference is awesome. Uh, reference. Preference. Uh, I'm not reshooting the video, screw it. Anyway, so. You want people who don't frequent your site to start frequent, frequenting your site, okay? Because guess what? They're going to click on your ads, and you're going to make money, right? Because that's like what every gold mining web, web, webmaster wants, is they want people visiting their site, okay? 
No, no, no. That would be too difficult to co to 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 grasp on this very basic concept. Meetup.com. This is another site where you have people. Let me put it this way: I'm building everything: blog, forums, chat room, private messaging, the whole nine yards, a CMS, um, themes, a site editor, the whole nine yards by myself, one person. Take. They have about 20 people at some point working on meetup.com. Okay, now if you don't know what meetup.com is, it's basically you pick any interest, poodles, web design, video games, whatever, okay? Um, and people can get together, form a group, and meet up in meet space in the real world away from your computer. Um, and go to like a internet uh, a, a, a coffee place and get a cup of coffee and sit around and talk about whatever they want, okay? And you, there, they had this meetup group, for, uh, meetup meeting for the web, the website itself, trying to figure out how to make money. And their alternate solution was everyone pays twenty dollars up front right now. Everyone who starts a group has to pay twenty dollars right now. And I'm like, are you serious? Good design does not take genius, okay? Because if you use your own products and you have, let me put it this way, if you don't have preferences or you don't tweak your options and stuff, then you're not going to understand the design of something. And if you don't use your own products and you don't have very sharp, clear, dis distinctive preferences, then you're not going to know how to make your product better. Right? So, the good way to design it is you charge the people who do show up. Because if you have two people who show up to a meetup, then hey, like a buck each, two bucks, right? Well, now you're going to have a hundred groups to, you know, that have two people to every group that has ten. Okay? So you're going to make a whole lot more money off of smaller groups than you are larger groups. Not because, uh, like, well, someone will be like, well, wait a second, you're making less per group. Yes, but there are more groups. And because there are more groups that vastly outnumber the larger groups, then even though you're making less money per group, you're making more money overall. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure this out, but apparently it does. See, I'd rather be a street, a, a street sweeper in a grand society than the genius in a society filled with idiots, okay? And I know we're somewhere in the middle, and I'm going to leave the, the how far in the middle from whichever up to you guys, but... You know, this stuff is not, it's not difficult. So, but apparently it is. So, whatever. All right, I'm done with my rant. Uh, I think one day uh, I will post a video about uh, motherboard layouts, uh, computer cases. I know uh, some of you guys would prefer m me to talk about the hardware. I will. Um, also, I am probably in week four out of five of fixing Internet Explorer, which generally means, if you know what you're doing, means that you're very close to beta. So I will be posting those videos very soon. And um, yeah, so expect some more stuff from me. This year is going to, once I get going this year, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Take care.